This is a demonstration on using indent markers to control the formatting of your text. Now one of the things that we know in APA formatting is that the first line of each paragraph needs to be indented. And the way that I know many of you do that is you put your cursor in front of the first line of the paragraph and then you space, 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 space to get it where it is. Or maybe you press the indent key. You can do that, but there's really two things wrong with that. One is there's no guarantee that you're going to have the exact same number of spaces, that you're going to remember to do the same number of spaces on each paragraph. So it's possible that your intents are going to be a little bit wiggly because they're not all the same. But more than that, it's just kind of a pain in the neck. So I'm going to show you an easier way to do it using the indent markers. So let me get rid of these spaces. Now at the top of the Microsoft Word you see a ruler and in the upper left side of the ruler you see that hourglass shape. That's actually two separate things. It's an upside down triangle sitting on top of a right side up triangle. That upside down triangle, the top part, controls the first line in a paragraph and the bottom part controls all the rest of the lines in the paragraph. So let's say we want to set the first line indent for all of our paragraphs. So because I've already written this text, it looks like I still have a space there, let me get rid of that. Because I've already written this text, I'm going to highlight it so that the indent marker knows which text I want to apply this to. And now that it's highlighted, I'm going to grab that top triangle, I'm going to bring it over to a half an inch, and let go, and just like that, the first line of every paragraph is indented. Now it's kind of cool that that happened to all the text that we've already indented, but the really nice thing is since I've applied it to my final paragraph, now every time I start a new paragraph it's going to be already indented. So if I type in new, new paragraph, you'll see that it's already indented. And that will continue throughout this document. Every time I press the return key and start typing, it's going to indent it because we have told the computer that the first line of each paragraph is going to be indented by moving that top line indent marker. So the top line, the top triangle, controls the first line of every paragraph. This bottom triangle controls the rest of the lines of the paragraph. So if, for example, I highlighted this paragraph and then moved this bottom triangle, the bottom indent marker, and let go. Now you'll see both my first line and my bottom line, or the rest of my lines, are indented along the half inch mark. If I move my bottom triangle over to a quarter inch, now my first line is indented at half inch because of the top triangle, and all the rest of the lines are indented at a quarter inch because of the bottom triangle. I'm going to move it back to zero where it belongs. So that's, that's a really handy tool. And then just to kind of finish talking about indent markers, if you look at the right edge of the ruler, you'll see there's also a right indent marker. And so if I click and drag that, you'll see now all of the highlighted text is formatted within uh, that right indent marker. So this just lets you easily format your text. Now I want to talk a little bit more about that bottom indent marker. So using that bottom indent marker, we can create what's called a hanging indent. A hanging indent is where the first line is flush left, but the rest of the lines are indented. We use this often when we have numbered lists, when we have bulleted lists. There's other times to use it, but one I want to talk about in particular are your reference lists. So we know with reference lists in APA formatting, the first line is flush left and the rest of the lines are indented one half an inch. So when the first line is left and everything else is indented, that's referred to a hanging indent because it's, I guess, hanging off of that first line. So what we're going to do is highlight all the references that we want to put a hanging indent on. We're going to take that bottom triangle because that controls everything but the first line. We're going to drag it over to half an inch and let go. And then just like that, all of your references have a hanging indent. So much easier than using the tab key on all of those subsequent lines. So now you know how to use indent markers to easily 
control the format of your text.